the proportions as correct as possible. Now, of course, our light source is coming from the upper left-hand side, so we can be a little bit more bold with our marks over here. Slowly but surely, our form will start to reveal itself. Now, of course, you can do this with really any white material. You can use it right there as well. And doing these little subtle areas of, of strong highlight are what's going to lead to that illusion of that strong. So a little bit darker, and then it gets a little bit lighter right here before the teeth begin because that upper portion of the upper lip kind of juts out. But I'll, I'll always remember my biology and anatomy teacher. Okay, so I'm trying to slowly uh, create that transition from some lighter value to some darker you value. See that in the reference. This whole front edge is pretty strong. Again, I'm trying to think about the cross mm -hmm. kind. There is a curve that kind of happens here. The teeth kind of go up and then start to settle back mm -hmm. down on the other side. If you're unsure of it, you kind of make it a little bit lighter than the other areas, the surrounding areas, but go ahead and mark it. Because sometimes you see things happen well over here. Of course, this is going to create a cast shadow on the surface right there and that line kind of goes on out here kind of follows that if you want to make the skull lighter in value or if you want to make the table that it's sitting on lighter in value and uh, for my drawing I know that the table that it's sitting on is that shadow should be pretty strong and I'm just trying to push the form just a little bit further. A little bit on the cheekbone here. And I'm just looking at the reference and finding any area. Yeah, I can when you're working with the white charcoal on the black paper, any white medium on a black surface, you have to think in reverse because you're adding the highlights instead of the shadows, which is what we're, we're usually accustomed to doing. Uh,